there this is Wahid from VR Education channel and welcome to the fifth version of database programming in Python today we are going to focus on deletion when we talk about deletion there's a couple of items that we can delete from a database first of all or uh, the most common is uh, deleting a row or a couple of rows from a table after that is to delete all the rows from a table the other thing is deleting a table totally from a database a table with all the data inside it so we don't have uh, such uh, an entity inside our database anymore and the last one is delete a column inside the table for example a column is not necessary anymore so we're gonna get rid of that so these are the uh, different type of deletion in a database perspective so let's go to VS Code and see how this kind of deletion gonna work in Python okay let's get back to our playground file you know, I'm gonna comment this update students we don't need it anymore for this session and I'm gonna copy copy with uh, copy this method and create another method this time it's uh, delete student delete oops delete student and I'm gonna pass just ID of an student and then tell the SQLite uh, database to delete this student from the student table so um, here we are going to connect to my DB uh, get a cursor and provide a statement a SQL uh, statement it's something like this delete uh, from students okay and we don't need to set anything where id like something id equals to something this is the simplest way that we can use to delete something from our tables and here we just need to pass that id as a tuple and i'm going to say okay execute it and let's change it also to delete query and also this one uh, we can also get rid of this part but this is very dangerous it's gonna remove anything uh, from the table from the student table all the data inside will be vanished and also we can uh, delete the data from a table using another way and I'm gonna tell you how so let's just uh, remove one item here and uh, row deleted and here 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 we can say that uh, we can get the number of rows affected or deleted by running this SQL statement and, and that's it so we commit it uh, close the cursor and we finally close the connection so here I'm gonna say go ahead and delete student with an ID of uh, for example three I mean gonna or for Mary uh, will be deleted from the database so it says one row deleted let's get back here and refresh it Oops, I think we need to refresh it from here yeah it's from here okay Mary gone so we deleted it successfully and also you can change the work clause for example you can say go ahead and delete any ID greater than the thing that <coughs> I passed an, uh, as an argument for you okay I'm gonna say go ahead and delete uh, I need to delete six and seven so I'm gonna pass five here five and let's run it it says two rows deleted this time and if you refresh the table here you can see we have one two three and five six and seven deleted by this command mm. and uh, in deletion most of the time we need to specify the exact record based on the ID most of the time but sometimes we need to for example delete uh, the records registered for example before a specific date you can use uh, this notation and compare the registration date with the provided uh, provided that date now what if we want to delete a couple of rows for example user selected some rows inside the grid in our um, uh, UI and we want to delete it but uh, they are not continuous for example I want to delete um, a student with ID 2 and 5 so again we can use execute many method here but this time I'm gonna say uh, ID equals to something like this 
sometimes you, uh, you might see some uh, literal like a percent sign and s it's just the same so we need to provide some data here so i'm gonna say um, let's uh, say id list and this time i'm gonna say oops now let's uh, let it as it is and i'm gonna copy it and declare another method named delete students and i'm gonna pass id list as parameter here we have a list of ids to delete them so here i'm gonna say id equal to something like this percent sign and s so we don't need to have data here and i'm gonna say id list here and this time we need to pass execute many use execute many and pass the delete query and id list to this method um, so that's it now let's get here here instead of calling delete student i'm gonna say delete students and pass a list as uh, the argument i'm gonna pass for example two as a tuple and also five as another tuple five and that's it so this time when we pass uh, this uh, list as a parameter to this method it's gonna uh, run this SQL statement uh, for each item inside the list okay for the first one it's gonna place two here and delete the student with ID of two again it's gonna iterate over the list and call the SQL statement with the ID of five so let's see what we have here I'm gonna run the program it says what wow well i forgot to change it we need to use uh, mysql uh, it's used for my uh, mysql database let's just uh, change it to um, question mark and run it one more time it's not for sql lite so it says two rows deleted and that's it let's refresh the table we can see two and five deleted so we have only two item here and uh, let's uh, just remove this part remove very close and I'm gonna oh let's get it from here delete student I'm gonna get rid of very close and just execute the SQL statement without any parameter comment this one and call uncomment this one and this parameter is not important because I'm not gonna use it so let's run and it says again two rows deleted because we only have two rows if you have 100 rows here uh, again all those uh, records will be deleted so we can see every every data deleted from the table so let's get back and insert a couple of uh, records uh, i'm gonna uncomment oops let's comment these two lines and also these lines so if I run the application it says one row one row and three rows inserted into database and if you refresh it we have these items here okay now what should I do let's comment all these lines and in addition to uh, deleting rows in a table we can also delete a table totally so here i'm gonna delete software table for example so i'm gonna uncomment this line and make use of this function uh, so here we just need to say drop drop table software and that's it so we don't need to pass any parameter here we just need to delete a table so if I run it says um, no rows deleted but if we are getting here and refresh the table the database you can see software table deleted and uh, also we can delete a column from a table for example here I'm gonna delete the uh, price column okay so let's get back here this time I'm gonna say um, 
instead of drop table I'm going to say alter we're going to modify table alter table uh, hardware hardware and drop columns column Oops. the name was price okay that's it so let's run it one more time again it says no rows deleted but we have some changes here if I refresh it we can see price column deleted from this table totally we can also uh, use alter table um, to modify table and I'm going to talk about it uh, in the future lessons but here uh, we can make use of it using this uh, parameter drop column and the name of column in order to delete a column from a specified table so he said, uh, if we run it one more time, it says, error no such column. We don't have any column name price inside hardware table. So here, uh, you've learned that how we can delete a row, a couple of rows uh, from a table, how to delete all the data inside a table, how to delete a table completely, and also how to delete some columns um, inside a table. These are different methods of uh, deletion inside database so i hope you enjoy the content and till next session goodbye